Hello, the internet, and welcome to Knights of Pen and Paper Plus One, a game. Okay, now, before any of you go like, what is this? What is that? Why is there Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with Beaver and TARDIS in the background with wooden door and clock and weird golden table and other stuff? Before you say any of that, uh, first, are you a big fan of RPGs? If you said yes to that, go get this game now. It's about seven pounds, seven ninety nine, I think it is, on Steam. Get it now, and I think it's cheaper on mobile because this used to be a mobile game. But I do recommend this one more because it has a bit more content. This is a fantasy RPG, which is fantastic. This game is amazing. That's all I'm saying. Okay, now one thing that you might be bothered by is if I press this, you will, you can get more gold with money. It's not needed at all. Go if you can get the gold table and some other things. I recommend getting items that will increase your gold because that's the best thing you can do. But if you do that, you really wouldn't need that unless you all your party dies and you have not much money from traveling. But except for that, you will be fine for gold. Now you might be wondering why do I have so much gold to begin with. All of the gold carries on between games and I want enough to make a full party to start out with. Speaking of full party, let's start it. Uh, that's my that's one I just started today and that's one that I've been doing for about two weeks. Let's click on the empty one. Nah, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, now, now see here you get to, uh, by the way, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one I unlocked. So, if you get the game, you won't be able to use this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, unless you go through the game. Also, there's a few car uh, few players that I unlocked, but it doesn't say which ones I've unlocked, so I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Okay, see here, I'm going to pick this lovely lady, and I'm going to, uh, mainly because of her passive ability. That's pretty much the difference between each of the characters, like this guy's got plus five to health, but this one has, when you're making blacksmith, it's 50% more likely he'll make it, which is very useful for the team. Now, what do I want her to be? I think I will... Okay, I'm going to make her the Shaman. Yep. You can read that if you want. Okay, I'm going to add a wizard, because in every game I play with wizards in, I will always add one. And I think I'm going for the same combo that I have in my um, over a thousand days, which is E.T. Mage. I'll add that. Now... If you want even more, you'll have to pay gold. But because I have enough gold, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make a full party and just have kind of like a 50 minute. And by the way, if you want to see this turn into a series, just shout out in the comments. Okay, so who do I want? Um, the arrows are very good. Ah, see this? This is... Okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm going for another one that I have in my 1000 day. Teacher, uh, do I? Hmm. Yeah, teacher, mage, uh, not mage, cura, or priest, or whatever. I don't know. It. Look at the teacher stats. Look at the passive. D -d 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 that is amazing, people. So I'm gonna get her. She's gonna be the healer. And I'm going to add a that because they are actually very good I didn't actually add one of these to my okay now see this one here this little girl here she has one of the most useful things ever extra dice roll because when you collect traveling you will travel by a dice and she makes it so and I mean so much easier and yeah that's perfect because even if you get a one if it's a two, 
If it's the thing that you need two to travel, you will have enough. Okay, do I want a necromancer? You can only have one of each kind in the group. I don't recommend this one because it's only magic that actually hurts people does damage to him, so I don't recommend it. Hmm. Plus a five health. That's quite good. What do I want him to be? I could be. I could have a spoony bard, but hmm. Nah. Okay. I'm g hunter knight. Necromancer. It's either Hunter the Knight or the Necromancer because I really like the Necromancer, but hmm. Hmm, I'm just looking guys. See, it, it this is just okay, I'm going for him. He does have two passives, but I know this actually no. I'm you know what? I'm going to be the Necromancer because I like to summon things from the dead. See here, this is your table, and you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. This is the game. I have actually never played Dungeons and Dragons, but I really want to. And, oh my god, this game just makes me... This game even makes me want to more. Uh, you can read this if you want to. I'm not going to read any of it. Okay, rock on, come on. You... Okay, I might read a couple, but I'm not going to read it mostly, so... Yeah, I'll just pause the video. God, what? God, two. Get back here. Okay, now this says kill two guards in one or more battles to complete quest. Now, see here, this is actually a very good system that they have implemented for the battling. See here, there's nobody here. If I click add, there's one guy. If I click add again, there's two, and I need two to finish the quest. Piece of cake. Now, as you can see, they each have a number here. That's the order that they will go in. Right now, my... I forgot what it... The girl with the dice roll and the, the hood is going... Seven? Something? I don't know. She is going last. That's about what I'm saying. Where my lovely teacher lady is going first. So I can use her weapon, which seems to be a shovel, or her magic, which will use up mana. I'm going to use this one because it is a harmful attack that did, like... Wait, the shaman has a bag? What does this do? You hit people with a bag. Okay. Now, this is the necromancer. I can summon the dead. Ah! Victory. Victory is mine! And now, as you can see here, there's a sleep thing, which, if you sleep, you'll be able to restore health and mana. It's very useful. Also, you have a thing where you keep your stuff. And, of course, there's a character. I don't know where that appeared. Shady guy! And now we're in town! Yay, quest done! Okay guys, um, now I'm probably going to get into more of it, but let's first start a new quest. I'm going to start a quest called Rat. There you go, okay. Kill five rats. Okay, I'm going to do three to begin with. Ow, see he went first, now he went second. Now oh, she went third, bang! Destroyed! Okay, now, as you can see, the shaman has very powerful attacks, but again, it is an unlockable character. So, when you leave your comment, I can act, uh, you can either leave it as this, or a, or I can start again, but with characters you, you don't, uh, that you don't unlock. And I could also get rid of all the upgrades to my table, because my table and the room around, which you can't see, has a lot of upgrades. But, uh, I don't want to kill them all because I want to show some other powers, so I'm going to use that. Oh, that didn't even kill them. And, um, uh, now see, these ones do stop. What? what is... Huh? That, that did, de okay, that's weird. I, that did health to the enemy. 
and I couldn't click on even the guy that had hurt on him. Oh well, that's weird. Double strike does two attacks, and oh my god, this guy, he, wizard's amazing. Like, look, Meteor. <laughs> Both dead. Now, there's only a couple of attacks that do, um, like, all of the bad guys at once. Oh, look, everybody's got to level up. And when you level up, every, uh, your, like, your health, your attack and stuff increase by one, but you can also increase one of your stats, one of these four, by one. I'm going to upgrade Tornado because it's the most powerful attack. 3T, I'm going to do Fireball. Uh, for you, I'm going to give you Hammer. Uh, I'm going to give you Double Smash. And you... I, one second. Revi revive character until end of back. Oh. Okay. Okay, I get it now. I was doing it wrong. <laughs> derp de derp de derp. I'm gonna go summon the dead. I'm I usually level up kinda like I go for that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, then start again. That's what I usually do. Okay, two more rats to kill. One, two. Okay. Uh you know what? I'm gonna smite. Smite. What what is that? What is that? It does seven damage. Okay. Hurricane! That will kill. Uh, that will go through every enemy. Just saying, just like the meteor. Okay, see, so quest done. Three gold and XP. When you finish a quest, you will get XP for it. Um, now, as you can see, there's even harder quests. I'm gonna go for bat because we are all level two now, so we're all very happy. Again, if you do want to read this, just pause the video. It's, um, you might need to... I, I do sometimes click very fast because I don't read these things. I just skip past them most of the time, so... Yes! Instant kill! Now, just saying, you might be thinking, well, of course that's an instant kill move this early on. It's a character that you unlock. No, this one you get with the, with the game, as well as the cloak thingy. I can't remember what that class name is. And the mage. So you get meteors, god hammers, and swords, as well as bear, bears, bear claws, and two kinds of swords, well, one hammer and one sword, to start with, and you get, like, so many other things. I don't know why I did that! <laughs> don't ask me why I did that. Deep freeze, very powerful attack. Uh, there's a shout move, Mwah. and of course, summon the dead. You know what? Hit you with my shovel. Hit you with my bag. Death by bag. Okay, now I just need to kill two more bats. You know what? I'm gonna go all out. Bats everywhere. Now, hmm. You can also use Vanish, which will protect him from some foes, because the foes won't notice that he's there. Yeah. Whoa! Almost dead already! Meteor! Patoom! Look at that! Now if I just summon the undead... Dup, dup, dup. Now that's actually an enemy later in the game, so... Yeah. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! Just Hurricane! Everything is dead. Smite. Perfect. I didn't need to kill that many, but I did. And you get more gold if you do that. And you get levels up, so... I'm gonna rest before giving them all the... Oh wait, I forgot. They <laughs> they get full health when they re when they do that, so... I'm gonna upgrade lightning. Um, I'm gonna upgrade meteor. Mm, meet eor. Now these two moves are dedicated to healing. This heals the whole group. And this heals one person. This one does more healing than this one. So I'm going to uh, give this one. Because that one's more useful. Because when you're in a fight and everybody is badly damaged, that can easily win a game. Uh, do that. And the Necromancer, I'm going to um, give a passive. The passive is not an attack you can do. It's a thing that will happen over time, just like the five health points. 
now look at that guys we're doing good now as you can see there's also other kinds these are attacking ones where there's look there's already a level 30 quest here which you can do right now but I'm not going to because I don't want to die now these ones really um want you to go places so I'm going to do one of these and show you what it does. Now it says to go to the den of the of devil. Shouldn't it be of the devil? Now you see here there are si uh, six between twenty. If you get between those, you're fine. But if you get under them, you are not fine. That's why I recommend having that girl that gives you one extra point. So let's say uh, because that was six between twenty. Let's say I forgot five. With her there, I would go up to six, meaning I would be able to do it. But also I have another item, uh, just saying if you click this, you get the shop which c you can buy stuff with. This is how, uh, not with real money before you ask, with in-game money here. This is where I bought, bought this bear thing. Also where you can buy food, I'll just do that to boost some morale and some drinks. Um, but this one here adds an extra dice roll, it does the same as that girl, so getting them to means you will probably, it's very unlikely that you will miss a, di a, a um, roll. Of course you can pick different things. This is who you start with, but I pick this guy because this guy's awesome. You can get a TARDIS, which is epic. I got the clock because it has magic power and I like magic. And yeah, you can do all that stuff. Random book. Pet. War. And back to food. Now the food and drinks don't last a certain amount of time before you'll have to replenish them, just say. Unlike everything else. Okay, now, I need five blood gemstones. So what you do here is sometimes monsters will drop them, so let me fight three bats and see if they drop any. Okay, now, what should I do next? I'm gonna hit him with a flute. Dead. I'm gonna hit you with a shovel. Yeah, I'll be died by shovel. And you know what? What's this do? Yay, random death. <laughs> I don't know what that did. Ah, see? I got two blood gemstones from that. And pretty much everybody's ready for a upgrade. So we're gonna kind of like fight. Let's make it about that many. <laughs> Are you kidding? Nope. Okay. Look at that! Death by random skeleton in the ground. Boom boom. Now we're about to get into the hard hitters, Meteor. And. Hurricane, yeah. Random shovel to the face, and I won. Now I needed three more. How many did I get? 18 coins. One. Well, that's just hunky dory then. Just saying, I don't recommend doing that because the weakness, I pretty much never use it. Just saying. It, you might think it's a good idea, and if you do, props to you, but personally, I don't think that is a very useful attack. I'm gonna use that because I don't even know what that does. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade your passive. And I'm going to upgrade, well, um, I'm gonna upgrade your from the dead. Now it will start with 60. It will start with 20 health, other than, I think it was 10. Okay, let's fight that many. Just saying, sometimes there there is a limit, and this is about the limit you can go to on how many bad guys you can fight at a time. Meteor! Kill everybody! But not really. Oh, I wasn't meaning to go for you. Yeah, the hitboxes when you click on them are sometimes a bit weird. But except for that, there's not really too many problems with this game. I do find sometimes that the items you get are very 
not useful, especially if you have a healer on your team, which you should. You should have a healer on your That was six. Okay, I think we're definitely done. Back to the village. And we're here. Now if we click on that. Oh and we did it. I say we should do one more quest and then I will end it off. But you know where I'm going. Level nine sorry, no no no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it what Ah, so the star usually means that's where you're... That's a very important place. Oh. What? No. I didn't mean to click that. To the den of a devil again. da lump 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 I know this place. You don't say, do you, Rita? Oh, poo, I just hit my mic. I hope you didn't hear that. One, two, three, four, five, six... Let's fight them up. Yes. Yes, that is the right thing to think. Because they're a giant bat. Pow, pow, yeah. Hurricane. Yeah. Now it seems to do, um, the hurricane seems to do damage, more damage to the person at the end. Because it ends, the person at the end. Because it's named the end. And random meteor. Now, I'm usually fighting big groups, but when you're not, there are very good strategies. Like, the Fireball 3T will burn them, meaning whenever they attack, they will do damage. They will have damage afflicted to themselves. Now, every stat can be level 2. Yay, level 2. Level 2. Where is it? I don't want you. I'm just going to... What? Oh, poo. I... <laughs> Level level three, level one, level two, level two, level one, level three. Okay, I'm going to give you. I hardly use vanish, but oh well. Just saying, Pokemon. I know you're making a new game, but can I ask a favor of you? Multiple save files. This is one of the greatest things about this game, because you have that you have three save files. Two's enough, but I but three. That means you can do so much. You could have one for video. You could have one to play normally, one for videos, and one to just do stuff. Pokemon, take notes. And before you say anything, just like, well, I don't want to have multiple. Well, you better in the next game, or I'll be annoyed. Oh, that guy stays there. Okay. Now, see, we have a boss here. If it's gold, it's a mega. I think it's a mega, a mega enemy. Now, see, fireball adds a little effect there. There are other attacks that do it, like bear claws does. Um, it uh, does a bleeding effect, but this one does an effect here, which makes it on fire. And every time he attacks, he will get hurt. Smash. Random hurricane came through. Yeah. yeah. Now see, he actually killed himself there, or the fire killed him. So it's very useful to do that sort of thing. Add afflictions. The team I've got here only has really one affliction. Um, affliction, yeah, I think that's the right word. I'm probably using a horribly different word. But, he only, um, my team only has one guy, well, two actually, because I think the necromancer does the same thing with his... Rise, rising the Dead. I don't actually, I haven't, I've only just unlocked Necromancer yesterday, and I've only used him for today, so I don't know much about him. Okay, I think we're going to stay here and just do, like, a very short one, like a rat. Let's do one more rat. Kill some rats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can easily take this out. Look, 12's already dead. 6 is dead. Random hurricane kills everything. Ice caps are melting in your face.
Now if we click this... Quest done! You did it! Percent! Ah, now see here, this seems to be doing better than the other ones, because as you can see, 2 XP. 2 XP makes such a difference, guys. I'm going to upgrade you. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end this off. Oh, let me end it off with a bit of a snooze like I usually do in my Minecraft videos. I'm going to end this off, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check out Pen and Paper Plus One. It is an amazing game. It is just a very fun game. If you like RPGs, if you don't, you probably want to stay away from it. But if you do like turn-based RPGs, you will love it. And a question, and I have a question for you guys. If you could be any race in any class in D and D or in in real world, in the real world, if you can be any race and any class, what would you guys be? Personally, I think a ninja robot. I know I'd be kind of like a bad ninja because of all the clunkiness, but stealthing up to people and shooting lasers through my robotic eyes sounds fun. Okay, guys, I'll see you next time. Again, check out the game, and of course, if you have a, uh, and if you have a minute, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.